friends, it's Julie, and today I'm going to finally, 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 finally talk about light therapy again. So many of you have been asking me to do this. I have been listening, I just haven't been making videos. Uh, if you saw my recent video about my 60 day self care challenge, then you know that I have been a little frazzled lately, but I'm getting back into my life again. I'm getting things back under control and I'm happy to say that I am finally talking about the light therapy that I've been doing to keep my rosacea symptoms under control. For those of you who have not been watching my channel since the very beginning, then I'll just let you know I started off by using a light that looks like this one. Basically it's a bulb that looks like this, but it was in all red. Then I found out that um, people were using amber, which is kind of a yellowy orange. Um, successfully, so I tried just amber and I, I stopped using the red, which I had been using very successfully. Um, and it's no cure, but I had been using it very successfully. I tried out the amber. That was very soothing, but it wasn't quite enough. Then the company that actually made those lights contacted me and asked if I would be interested in being a guinea pig for this bulb they had developed called the Dual Care, and that combines red and amber together. Obviously, I jumped on the chance. The prototype that I picked ended up being the Dual Care, which is this one here, which remains my main light therapy that I use for rosacea. I have done a lot of research into the types of research that have been done in th that is like medical studies and things like that things that have been published it's still very limited a lot of it's still very prelim preliminary there is a lot of research about red light therapy for things like wound healing and reducing inflammation and things like that nasa did a lot of it because their focus was on being able to send something like this into space with the astronauts so that they could provide themselves with medical care in those kinds of circumstances. Uh, it's very, very cool research. I highly recommend looking into a lot of it. There has been some on a much more limited extent on rosacea and it's almost all red exclusively. Personally, having tested it on myself, I like red and amber combined. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. This is the one that I still use to this day. I had been using it for months and months and months, if not a full year every single day other than basically if I forgot or just things happened and I couldn't. I found that it made a very big difference. That said, I find it important to say, one, I'm not a medical expert, I'm not a doctor, and this is not a cure. This did not cure me. I do still have flare-ups on occasion way less than I did a couple of years ago or three years ago before I started doing any light therapy at all. Huge difference. But I also make a lot of other changes in my life uh, watching the foods that I eat, controlling sun exposure. I don't drink alcohol anymore. I am now doing a lot of mental health things because uh, anxiety and stress are my top trigger. I do a lot of physical exercise because that over time helps a lot. But light therapy basically is sort of the central component. It's the one that made the most visible difference to me and it's the one that I could feel the most quickly. These days, I do my light therapy once, maybe twice a week. I had stopped doing it for a while. A lot of symptoms did come back, but um, then I got back on it and things seem to be back under control again. Um, it takes, it's not something instantaneous, but with regular use, uh, I find that it does make a difference. I think when I went back and I looked at my, uh, my own results, because I tracked them for quite some time, even on my blog, I believe it took around, I started really seeing a difference on myself at around a month's worth of use, but it was after about three months that other people could notice because, you know, not everybody is looking at me quite as closely as I do in the mirror when I'm trying to see if I've got results. So, yep, so I'm I'm still really impressed with it. I still really like it. I still use it, and it's the dual care that I use that is red with some amber in it too. Um, it looks like this. This is the cord that comes with it now because this is from my most recent purchase. Oh, and I use it with goggles, which are very important. Um, red light and even amber light are basically safe for the human eye. It's mostly blue light and some of the invisible uh, wavelengths, I believe, that are that place your eyes at risk. That said, any bright light at all, any wavelength, anything at all, can damage your eyes. Your eyes are not meant to have very bright light shining into them for uh, several minutes. So um, that's why I use the goggles. They give you the goggles for free when you buy the smarter lights and they give you the the cord set so it's basically like a, a socket that your bulb goes into it's got a switch and then it plugs into the wall and they have ones for north america and then they have ones for the pretty much rest of the world so um just if you are shopping there make sure that you make the right choice in that one but yep so it's just like this 
and you turn it on and I don't think my camera, I think my camera when it picks it up it does all these like weird magical things. It looks kind of normal as I'm looking in the screen right now, but this is what it looks like. Um, this is what it looks like on my hand. So it's kind of a reddy yellow. This is unbelievably bright. This is extremely bright and there's no way that my camera is picking up how bright it is, especially because it's a super sunny day right now and it's there's a lot of white light coming in. But um, yep, so I basically use this. I don't have my goggles on, so I'm not gonna use it right now, but I, the directions say to use it on this side of your face, on one side of your face, then in the middle, then on the other side. I don't have rosacea on my nose, forehead, or chin. I'm very fortunate that way. I have just sort of the butterfly wings instead of the whole butterfly pattern. So um, instead, I do kind of a diagonal. I do this cheek and then this cheek. So I've just split my treatments into two instead of three. It saves me time. The less time I have to spend on it, the more likely I'm, I am to do it regularly. I know myself, so that's why I do it that way. And it seems to work great for me. I've been, I've really experimented with timing over the years that I've been using this. Uh, for a while I was doing 90 seconds, so a minute and a half. For a while I was doing three minutes. Um, I did it for a while in the morning and in the evening. That did nothing for me, so I've just backed it off to once a day. I do it in the evening because that works best for me in terms of keeping it into my schedule and when I can, because you have to wash your face, then do this, then moisturize, then all that kind of stuff. So that's just, it's just when it works out for me. So in the evening, around twice a week, I will, unless I have a flare up, in which case I do it more, I do it this side for two minutes and then this side for two minutes. That's my whole routine. And then I move on with my life. That's when I moisturize and do all the other stuff. That said, this is not the only light that I use and it's not the only one that I've tried. So if you've been watching my videos again for a while, then uh, you may know that I tried some lights from another company called Ruby Lux. This was their original light. I've tried several colors from them, but it was the red that I really had been using. I used this as a travel light because you had to put this directly against your skin. Basically you put a piece of um, plastic wrap over it. They, they have shields as well that you can buy, but I was cheap so I got plastic wrap. And you put it directly against your skin and you had to do that for 5 to 15 minutes each. 5 minutes was not enough so I think I was doing it a little bit more. But basically it meant that I had to do three sessions, like one, two, three, and then one, two, three per cheek because I, my rosacea is my whole cheek. That was a lot of time. The odds are I would never, ever, ever do use this for treating my rosacea basically every single day or as much as I do. I just know that I won't. It takes too much time and then I will just skip it. Even if it works, I just won't. Um, it looks like this when it's on. As you can see, it's not nearly as bright as the other one. You can really see the difference when, when you show it that way. Um, but I use this as my travel light because it was super cheap. It's extremely, extremely cheap. So um, I've also, I know that some people have said, you know, does, will red light work for me? And I don't know. So if they want to test it out and they've talked to their dermatologist or their doctor, or they feel confident that they're ready to test it out, this is so cheap that even if this isn't the one that you're finally going to be using, this is a great one to try it out. And then you can just do like a little kind of inconspicuous area and you can try it out and you can try it out for five minutes or 15 minutes a day for several, you know, for several weeks to see if you get results. And if it looks like that patch is improving, then maybe you can move on to a more expensive device. Because of the extent uh, and the size of my rosacea, this is not quite the light for me. That said, Ruby Lux has come out with some other products more recently. They've done a generation two and this has become my new travel light because they have this red one and this is way brighter. So you can use it for just a few minutes on each, each whole side. You don't put this directly to your skin. And again, use your goggles with this one because it's brighter. It's not nearly as bright as my dual care, but it is much, much brighter and much, much cheaper. So if you're looking for something a lot cheaper because you don't want to go with the, uh, this hardcore one that does have a lifetime warranty and all that kind of stuff, which is still why I love this one. I really, this one is the one that's closest to my heart and it has amber in it. But if you want the, to, the red light and you want it for, I think it's a couple of years, they say it will last. Um, so you'd have to replace it a couple of years down the road if you want to keep going with it. But if you want to save a lot of time and just do one side at a time or do the three sides, depending on where your rosacea is, this one might be a better one. Um, really impressed with this one. This one's definitely my travel light now. Because it's so inexpensive and because it's so small, like the 
honestly, that's a big difference. Um, it packs much more easily and it comes in this box with like bubble wrap in it. So I just tuck it into its own box and then off it goes in my luggage. But yep, so I do use this one now. Um, my little uh, original one in the little plastic, the generation one has been retired. You know, it's just come out of retirement for this video, but it's all about generation two now. And just as a little side note, Ruby Lux has come out with this really, really cool mask. I've never tried any of the masks and I know you guys have asked me a lot about does the Neutrogena mask work or does this other mask work or have you tried one of the ones on eBay? And I have tried none of them, but I am kind of curious about them. So I'm really thinking of getting the Ruby Lux one because I think it's in around $100, which is a lot, especially because I do have a light that works, but you know that I'm always trying new things and I, I do like to review things and share my results with you to kind of help you too. So I'm thinking of getting that. And the thing that's cool about that and the one why I would go with Ruby Lux again as opposed to one of the other ones, because I mean, Neutrogena is sold at my local drugstore, but I would have to buy this mask. Like I'd have to order it online, the Ruby Lux one, but you get a whole ton of colors in it. So it comes with red, blue, purple, which is a combination of red and blue, white, which includes all wavelengths. So that's the one basically for like seasonal affective disorder and that kind of thing. Green, amber, yellow, and teal, which is a combination of blue and green. So I've got it on my computer screen here, which is why I'm looking away from you. Um, their website, in fact, you know what? I was, I was gonna say their website has all the wavelengths and all that stuff. I'll put a link in the description in case you wanna check this thing out too. They have it both for the, the um, 120 volt, just like Smarter Lights has the, the 120 volts for Canada and the US, and then they've got the 220 volts for pretty much the rest of the world. Ruby Lux, their mask has 120 volts for US and Canada, 220 for Europe, 240 volts for the UK, and 240 volts for Australia. So they have it all broken down. So basically, depending on where you are in the world, if you're interested in this thing, they, they can cater to your cut type of wall socket. And that's another thing that I really like about this mask is it plugs in. The A lot of the other ones, have, they're battery operated and you don't recharge the battery packs. You throw them out and have to buy a new battery pack every time. So this isn't something that you buy and it seems cheap and you buy it the one time. This is an investment because the battery packs work for 30 sessions. So if you do 30 days worth every single month, you have to throw out that battery pack and buy a new one, which I really strongly dislike. This one you plug in. So that's that's why you get all those different colors, seven different colors, um, you know, either straight up color or color combinations, and you can plug it in so it just keeps going. This is very exciting to me. Um, this is not sponsored and I have not tried it before, so maybe it won't work. I don't know, but I'm excited about it. So um, I'm finally talking about light therapy again. I thought I would let you in on kind of my future plans as well. So um, I'm likely gonna get one of those. It is $99 US. It seems to be $99 US regardless of which um, country you're buying it for. So whichever plug you need to get, uh, whichever kind of socket type you have, that's that seems to be the price. I'm, I'm really interested in this. And that will let me test out a whole pile of extra colors. Um, I do like to be a guinea pig for testing things on my rosacea, but yeah. So that's where I am and that's what I plan to do for in terms of light therapy for rosacea. I have a ton of extra videos where I've talked about, I've used green light therapy at one point. I used, you know, when I was just using amber, all those different things, I've done different videos on that. Again, my baby, <laughs> it's still the dual care from Smarter Lights. It's still the one that I love the most. But that said, second generation from Ruby Lux is great. And I am looking into their mask as well, just because I am so super curious. So yeah, so I hope you liked this video. I hope this was, this answered some of the questions that you had in terms of whether or not I'm still using light therapy and how. If I have not answered your light therapy questions, please note that I can't give you advice or make any recommendations, but if I have, haven't answered the questions that you had about how I'm doing it, then um, please, I welcome you to ask in the comments. I will get back to you as quickly as I possibly can. If you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That way I will know that this is the kind of video you like seeing. And if you want to see more videos, I try to put them out as frequently as I can, mostly on Sundays, sometimes on Thursdays. And if you want to see those, then I hope you will subscribe. And if you want to be alerted when I do put them out, please hit the little bell button next to the subscribe. And other than that, I will see you next time.